7 Mental Blocks to Export Success Everything first begins in mind. If something, like our export sale, doesn't go well, it is probable that the problem lies down in the way of our thinking. After all, it is the real source for everything that is happening to us. Therefore, even a slight improvement in the way of thinking or removal of a mental block can advance our business significantly as well as our life. Mental blocks don't always come across like a threat or even a problem. They may seem pretty innocent approaches to the issues. However, they can also be the real cause of the problem in the first place. I frequently notice want-to-be exporters having some kind of mental block. Below I have listed seven kinds of them. 1. Expecting good results in a short time. Failing to understand the nature of B2B sales might be a reason for such an expectation. In fact, stabilizing good export revenue has never been a one-day job. It is a pretty long run. It requires a lot of things including long-term thinking and planning. 2. Not investing in marketing. Marketing is a way of communicating with your customers. When it is done well, it brings tons of opportunities for growth. While there is such a fierce competition everywhere, it is a kind of naive though to expect that your customers will find you by themselves and buy from you without needing your communication efforts. 3. Neglecting marketing when sales are satisfactory enough. Marketing should not stop to perform when an acceptable level of sales is reached. The show always must go on. You are very close to the bottom point even when you are at a peak. 4. Everyone can do it. You can replace a printer with another one and most probably no one in the office will even notice. However, some people who execute the job will be very difficult to replace when they leave. Failing to accept the human factors may ruin your entire business. 5. Confusing who brings success to your business not customers, but the people in your team bring success to your business. Richard Branson said it well, clients do not come first. Employees come first. If you take care of your employees, they will take care of the clients. 6. They are already our customers. Wrong. They are everybody's customers. You don't own customers. Probably they own you. 7. Not bothering to invent and innovate Unwillingness to invent and innovate implies a lack of vision and passion. No company can live long in international markets without having those two important attributes.